What is up, you guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, and you know it, this guy render. And well, I'm finally back. Yeah, uh, I got my capture card. Sad little incident is that sadly they didn't give me the um, key code to actually activate it, so I need to wait for that. So hmm, another waiting. Sorry, guys. Um, the DS is nice though; it's an XL. I've never had one of those before, but. Because of this, I still need to do this kind of recording with my mobile phone, and I'm basically sorry for that, and I hope this will work itself out soon enough. So, anyway, this is actually an older battle against G Scrafty, an excellent battle from the Lichia region. Um, I don't know how much I can really tell him or say about him, more than he's a very, very strong player, and from the get-go of the team premise, he definitely comes to show with a lot of high tier, and then you... Uh, Fred, Scorp, Miltan, Gramble, Samurott, Cacton, which actually is um, somewhat rare, to be honest. But then we got the Mega Camera, which I use on my own, and the yeah, marvelous and dangerous Dusclops. And, well, basically, I had no idea how to stop him from the get-go. The team is super strong. And I myself using a bit of gimmicks, so knowing that, I was actually generally scared because I need to bring my A game to this guy because the team that he's bringing is much tougher than mine. I am using Pangor with Assault Vest, I'm using Volgar, the Quilladin, uh, BHM, Steelix, Camrot, and Emolga, the Fiscal Set. And I really felt that Emolga is so obvious for me to lead with, so I'm going to avoid that. Uh, expecting him to uh, either bring anything besides the Dust Clubs because the Dust Club is super, super predictable. But if he decides to go for Scrafty, then I have a switch in. So I'm gonna go for Pangoro, pretty much baiting him if that's the case to go for Will O Wisp if that's the matchup. Uh, other than that, let's actually get to it. Like I said, this guy is tough, real tough. So I do pretty right the first turn here, and of course, gonna see him start off with the Dust Clubs. So I'm going to start with Pangoro, and like I said, basically baiting him to go for Will-O-Wisp and then going to my Mega Camerot. Uh, the issue that is here is that I would have been better off with the Molga, but I really didn't feel or I didn't really think he would be that predictable as get-go. But then again, Dusclub is such a great starter from the look of my team that he had no reason not to, and he's just going to go you know, play his own game. Uh, I do decide to make a all right off the bat here and try to do as much damage as possible, and of course this thing is special defensive. And, uh, yeah, basically, I have no way or, you know, I can't deal with this thing, I can't win a stall out with this guy, so I'm just gonna go into my Honey Pie. I'm gonna expect him to stay in and go for Nightshades or Will-O-Wisp. He's basically gonna feel no reason to switch out, so I'm gonna go for a knockoff. And, um, I should really have started off with this, I really feel that. He's gonna set up a Trick Room, you know, trying to outspeed. There is no reason for me to switch out, I'm expecting him to switch to his camera, but then again, I might as well try to get some damage off it and just scout how much damage I really do with the knockoff here. Because before it mega evolves, you know, it is somewhat fragile, and I, obviously I don't do enough. And I just gotta go with Pangoro. Pangoro is probably my easy, easiest way to deal with this guy because of the Assault Vest. And he also gonna, of course, mega evolve with two cam mega cameras in the house. And, uh, yeah, basically... I was pretty sure that he was going to stay in, so I didn't even think for a second that he would switch out to his Gramble, which had been the better choice, to be honest. So I should have gone for Poison Jab, but sadly, and I mean sadly, I do decide to go for a knockoff, because in case he wanted to switch out, because I did expect a switch out, but you know, what to was a bigger question. So obviously I don't do enough damage, and I am in no position of taking a player off for a close combat, uh, but my Vulgar is, and eating that up like nothing. That Pokemon is extremely dangerous, and uh, dimensions are returning to normal, which means that we have basically nothing, to be honest. That Trick Room did not matter in this game at all. So we're anyway, going for a C-Bomb just to take some damage, or give some damage, and the Mill Tank, of course, here will wall me out. So I only saw one reason here, and, uh, you know, I should maybe switch out to Steelix, you know, seeing this battle here from this point. But I was thinking I could probably set up against this thing and uh, deal with what, you know, whatever comes. But he shows me the Thunder Wave, which I did not expect, considered a Body Slam, but 
yeah, I I'll say it's a fair game, it really is, and um, I think it's a very, very good play of my opponent, who basically gonna stall me out here, and I do decide to go for another Sword Stance, but I should have really gone for a Seed Bomb or a Brain Punch to receive some uh, HP back, but at this point I'm thinking, right, I can take an Ice Beam, um, because I am fully specially defensive, uh, but I did not include, you know, the um, Life Orb damage that could, you know, that this Samurai <laughs> did bring, which was just terrible, because I'm pretty much sagging off the Vulgar, and um, I'm just gonna, you know, fake this and uh, bring my Emolga and go for a U-turn, because, to be honest, it would be very dangerous for him to stay in, and I knew that, so I decided to U-turn out and uh, get the better switch initiative, and of course, you know, Granville is such a like huge threat that it doesn't really matter what I bring in, so Alpha Lix is just gonna be for coverage. I know that a close combat will do significant damage and will break my sturdy, uh, which I don't bear because I'm life orb, never mind. But I do decide to go for an Iron Head anyway and just do some damage, and I see it does some fair damage. I know the Milk Tank, you know, given it its typing can, you know, outwit me and get me paralyzed, but it can't kill me. And uh, I decided to be the worst type of player here, and since I lost uh, my Vulgar, I have no other matchup against this thing, I really don't, so I decided to just try to fend off it, and uh, stall it out, and that is exactly what he will decide to do, and uh, throughout this situation, I really thought I should go for Earthquake, because I'm pretty sure it's gonna switch out to his uh, Samurai soon enough, but I didn't think we'll do that so fast. So, sadly, I do go for an Iron Head here, which, you know, it does a lot of damage, but it would have done a lot more with an EQ, so, yeah, somewhat frustrated, actually. So, I'm pretty much forced to sack something, and I'm gonna sack off my Honey Pie, hoping, of course, for him to not have the Hydro Pump, which, you know, why wouldn't he? And that, of course, decimate Honey Pie, so I should definitely have switched in something else, I really felt that. And I'm gonna do a very, very bad play here, because I was thinking that Exodia could... Uh, scare him out, so I'm gonna pull a double switch here, he will actually decide to stay in and go for a knockoff, which, of course, now it doesn't do any damage, but with, as, without Assault Vest, my Pangoro can't take anything, so with that play, I actually just killed off my Pangoro, which would have been my winning condition against the mill tank, so, very, very bad play from my side, and I really, I was forced to do a play like this to get the upper hand, but instead, I just, <laughs> actually, I just buried myself in my own grave here, and, uh, while Exodia is extremely strong and defensive, it can't really do anything here. And I knew that, and I also knew that it's the camera or the cacton is gonna come in, and uh, I'm basically gonna lose a poke because of that. I can't do anything against the cacton, and I know that. So I'm gonna decide to switch into my Mordor, my Mega Camaros, and uh, I was actually thinking that he was gonna go for a sub here, but he just goes with Sword Stance. Uh, so I was thinking he's gonna go for a Sucker Punch here, will he go for Seed Bomb right off the bat, and gets a crit and annihilate me. Which is, you know, eh, of course, <laughs> of course that happened. So Alphalix is coming in, and I have no way of one shot this thing. I do have Ice Fang, but also I know that he could have switched out to uh, the Samurai, and uh, that would just been turned out terrible, but... It did anyway, because of course my Steelix is down for the count and has no way of coming around after two seed bombs there. And uh, yeah, I was basically hoping for Life Orb to kill me, which it didn't, so that was just awesome. So yeah, I am in a terrible position right now, and the Crunch will be just about enough to finish him off. And um, my only Pokemon I got left is my BEM or my Exodia. And um, I'm just gonna go for a Recover and see how much a crunch does, and you know, it does roughly over half, so I have no means of setting up against this Gramble. I do pack the Call Mine, so I was thinking that I could probably set up, but even with my fully defensive and HP and in my <laughs> Exodia, there is no means for me of actually destroying this thing, so I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt, because I have Psychic, or Psyshock, and I know that Psyshock won't kill it, uh, because of the because of the great defenses that Gramble pack, so this will sell me GG. So yeah, I was actually beating myself up a little bit about this game because I really felt that I had an honest chance in the beginning and I kind of screwed myself over and uh, as a result I just I couldn't stop this guy. G-Strafty you know, is 
one of those players that you know has been around for some time and is very very good and uh, basically I couldn't outsmart him and that basically turned the battle to the to the worst kind of scenarios to be honest and I lost as a result uh, had I played you know as predictable as I should have and you know start off with the Molga and uh, go for knockoff rather than that and of course also not switch out my BEM and taking that knockoff which I actually didn't expect then uh, you know I might uh, I, I think I still have lost but I think I would have uh, would have been a closer game uh, his team was definitely built for more offensive pressure than I were and uh, I basically had to play aggressive to get the upper hand and um, yeah, I basically killed myself, didn't I? I really felt that I did, and you know, it doesn't matter though. I, like I said, I did try my best here, and uh, I think my opponent won fairly. He really did what uh, any good NU player does, and had a team that could soak a lot of damage and then retaliate back. And I was basically forcing myself to try to break that wall, and uh, I couldn't. I simply couldn't. And like I said, he won very fairly. So GG, G Srafty, and I uh, hope for a rematch soon. And next time I'll try to bring a team that is made for uh, is made for best of players and then you I really felt that the originality team that I was bringing might have been um, <laughs> just a laugh for him to be honest and you know losing very fairly to him of course. Um so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed it anyway guys and um yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you like this battle, and if you don't, then don't leave a like. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I hope to get some more content up. And hell, we're up to 500 subs now, so I'm going to do an episode about that. And, um, you know, future events and stuff like that. And, you know, hopefully I get my key code to my capture card. That would be nice. If I don't get it today, then I have to wait to the 4th of January. So that's basically more another week ahead. So that is like, oh, really? But, you know, I can't really blame the guys who've been helping me get a capture card because they've been so supportive and, you know, getting back to me. But, you know, it's a little frustrating that such a little thing should, you know, halt the... I think I've waited six weeks now, so it's kind of kind of annoying to wait another week if that were the case. Um, so, yeah, guys, like I said, thank you for watching as always. And uh, remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day and take care, all right? Bye.